Nation. Yes, yes. That's the best way to start it right there, Walt. I'm just going to not even do my intro. Feet and ass wiped. Walt, this is why you're the GOAT, man. This is why you're the GOAT, bro. I, I don't even know where to go from there. Shout to everybody in the chat, man. Shout to Demarcus Webb. Make sure you guys come in, wipe them feet. This is Coffee and Convo. We are what? Thursday? It's Thursday, I believe, right? Yeah, Thursday night football is tonight. A few days away, three, four days away from Monday night football. On to week four. We are three and O oh right now. Let's definitely talk about some things going on in the nation right now. We signed a few people to the practice squad. Um, we got – let's just let's just pull it up. Let's just pull it up. Let's just pull it up. I'm going to let everybody pull in real quick, man. I know I pulled up early, so some people may not even see the live. I was supposed to do this at 12, my time, Central. Now I'm doing it at 10. So I don't expect a million people to pull in today, but love is love regardless – um, shout out to HNIC. What's up, Slim? What's good with you, Slim? We got the offensive player of the month with DC with over 1,200 passing yards. <laughs> got to give our quarterback some kudos for that, man. Definitely, man. Shout out to Derek Carr, man. A pleasant surprise. Um, he's been killing it these first three weeks of the season, man. Shout out to him. Slim, what's up with you, Brody? Aaron Cortez. Queen, what's up, love? Shout out to Raider Dangerfield. What's up with you, my brother? Got Silent Goldie in the building. King Savage kept it simple and plain. Fuck the Chargers. Talk that shit, bro. Mr. Damon, one love. Shout out to my guy. Bro. My dude, man, make sure you guys wipe them feet on the way in. We're definitely going to talk for a while today. Let's talk about it. Get them questions in. Get them comments in. Shout out to Ernest. What's good with you, my guy? Raider fan, how's everybody doing? I'm blessed, King. I am blessed. Shout out to my brother, Jesse, man. What's good with my dog? Shout out to James Moore. What's good with you, my guy? Graham Cam is definitely in the building. We got Kobe in the building, man. What's good with you, my guy? Amazing Blue. Santi's in the building. Bo Frazier says 4 0. 4 0. Let's go. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Let's get it, man. Nick 209. What's good with you, my guy? Dark Raiders definitely in the building. Shout out to New Zealand. Damn. New Zealand is definitely in the building. Let's go. Jackie the Raider Rat. How you doing, love? Let's get it. Let's get it. Vincent's in the building. Fresno County Watchdog. My guy always got my back, man, in the comment section, man. Let's talk about it. Coffee and convo. Santi says, road to 17 and 0. Talk that talk. Christian, man, what's up with you, my brother? Good morning, nation from Dallas. I am in Dallas as well, King. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to everybody out here in the DFW area and nationwide, man. You know how we do. Shout out to my brother, Spotlight. Shima's in the building. Raider Way is in the building. Let's talk about it, man. Knock Andrew. You know, I got to shout everybody out before we even get to anything. This is how we do over here. If you don't like it, kick big boulders, man. You already know how it go. Alvaro, what's, what's good with you, Alvaro? My dog. We're we going to get them boats out the way, man. You already know, man. Raider Ralph is in the building, man. Big Shane, Savage Raider, man. What's good with my guys? Joey D, sadly, I'm in Olympia, Washington. I, I, I fuck with Olympia, man. It's all good. Love it, man. Love it. Oil's top shelf. I love it. My little dog has had me up all morning. She is just all over the place, shitting, pissing, clawing that shit, biting that shit. It's been a hell of a morning for me. I said, you know what? I'm going to do this show early, two hours early, man, so I can get rocking because this little girl is crazy, crazy as shit. Let me see. No respect. Only one expert. Come on, man. But that's the way we like it, though. You already know, Chef. You are. That's the way we like it, man. We always win when everybody's against us. When our back's against the wall, that's when we come out swinging. I am good with that. I hope they do this for the rest of the games, for the rest of the season. Knox, Andrew. Um, thoughts on Sherman. 
going to be honest with you guys. I did not think this dude was going to leave the West Coast at all. But um, to see him go to Tampa Bay, I feel like he's ring chasing. I didn't think that he would be that kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hey, it is what it is. At the end of the day, man, Sherman may get a – he may get a starting spot over there because their starting um, corner went down, I believe, for the season or for an extended amount of time. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. He's a buck. Whatever. I don't really see him doing too much over there, to be honest. Um, the Bucks got their asses handed to him against the Rams this past Sunday. So, hey, it is what it is, man. The haze, the haters, because they ain't us, man. You already know, Shima. This is real talk. Shout out to my brother Nizer, man. What's good, Graf? My brother, my brother. Efren, what's good with you, bro? Dre says D Wall's got to have a big game this week. Oh, he is. He is. This is going to be a pass heavy game. This is going to be a shootout, y'all. This is going to be a shootout, y'all. Definitely going to be a shootout. But the one Achilles heel that the Chargers have that we need to expose is their run defense. They are very, very, very bad thus far in this early season against the run. We have to establish the run game. Peyton Barber has to have a field day. If Jalen Rashard is going to be coming up off the IR, he has to have a field day. Kenyon Drake at some point needs to have a breakout game. This needs to be the game. And if Josh returns, you already know Josh is going to eat regardless. But we have to establish the run. We definitely have to establish the run because – they are not a great team against the run. Savage at this point is questionable. I think that I think that Gru is going to definitely say he's questionable going into Sunday, and it may be a game time decision. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he's gonna play. I would hope that he does because this is a week, man. This is a game where we need to be all hands on deck. I, I, I keep saying this because I don't even like giving the Chargers like any type of credit because I hate them. I hate their existence. I hate their guts, everything. But they're for real on the offense and the defensive side of the ball. Their secondary is great. Um, you know what I mean? Their D-line can get can get to it. They just got to get better against the run. But um, I don't know, man. We need to have all hands on deck, period, point blank. I would love to see Josh Jacobs out there Sunday because I'm going to be totally real. I don't trust um, – Kenyon Drake thus far, he has done nothing for us. I don't know. You know, Jalen Richard has not played a down since last year. You can't, you know what I'm saying, expect for him to do big things. Peyton Barber, yes, he put up 111 rushing yards, over 146, I believe, all-purpose yards last Sunday. But you can't expect a career backup uh, running back to do that every Sunday or every every week. You know what I mean? Come Monday. So I, I don't really, I don't really know. I just I know that I would love to have Josh Jacobs back because Jacobs can cook these guys' boots. Um, but yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. DC likes to rush in LA. Bold prediction, DC gets a Russian TD. I like that. I like that, JC. Let's just hope he doesn't hurt his groin or some weird shit. Knock on wood, like he did last year, because we don't have a Mariota to come in and um do his thing. You know what I mean? We're going gonna to have to rely on Nathan Peter Go. Shout out, to, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody. Make sure you guys wipe them feet. We are 100 subscribers away now, man, from, from 10K. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button or do me a favor, man. Share, share the link. Share the stream. Let everybody know, man, to subscribe because we're definitely almost at 10K. And I appreciate every single one of you guys, man for being here with me like you guys always are, man. Shout out to the chat gang. DC likes to rush. We talked about that. Walt says, I heard 70%, 74%, I believe, brother. Crazy, right? I love it. I love it. We, we knew this was going to happen, though. We knew it was going to happen. We definitely knew it was going to happen. Uh, Savage, at this point, man, McCoy, McCoy is out for the season anyway. I don't really think this affects anything we got going on. He was gone for the season. You know what I mean? Um, and it was... I said to believe that it was the medication. I believe that the doctors had gave him. So I'm not, I'm not going to go against McCoy. You know what I mean? It sucks. These guys put a lot of stuff in their bodies that doctors tell them or authorize them to do that come that later on down the line comes, you know, the NFL comes out and says, you guys can't put this in your bodies. So I believe McCoy. I mean, he's never been known to do this shit before. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to put this on McCoy. This, this could be an honest mistake. Um, and at the end of the day, 
what did it do? It, it didn't help him. He went out in week one. He went out on week one. You know what I mean? Gone for the season. So I don't I just I don't see Gerald McCoy doing something like that. I believe that the medic the medication was something to help him heal his star a scar tissue. You know what I mean? So I, I look, man, the NFL, man, they implement so many bullshit ass rules and regulations. I, I just I don't even know. Shout to Goon, man. Shout to Raider Goon, ticket holder. He said, I'm going, man. Have a blast, brother. My brother B will definitely be there as well. He'll definitely be there as well. Uh, Raider Way, man. Vegas is back. You love to see it. He's back on the practice squad. Um, unless somebody else goes down this year, I don't believe that Vegas is really going to get any burn. The best thing is just to sit him on a practice squad. Um, let him completely learn the offense before we really throw him out there. We had him activated the first three weeks. The guy didn't play it down. So I just think that Gruden thinks that he's not prepared yet. He's not ready to go. How's Merrick? Merrick is good. Last I checked. Last I checked, Merrick is good. Um, I don't know yet if Josh is out. I'm waiting for the um, presser to come out later on, Dangerfield. And we'll definitely talk about it. We're going to be active all day today. You know what I'm saying? I took yesterday off, so we'll be active all day today. But, um, that's a good question, man. I know that Gruden said that Josh, he wants to see Josh back out there on the grass this week. So hopefully today is the day that Josh is out there because if he's not practicing today or tomorrow, I mean, the writing is on the wall. I don't think that he's going to play uh, come Monday night. What do you think about our latest pickup uh, from the Bears? I don't really think too much of it, Coach Raider, to be honest. Um, the guy is known for slap boxing, uh, a, def a, a, a posing defender, you know what I'm saying? From the New Orleans Saints. I mean, literally slap boxing. I mean, I, that was the weakest punch I ever seen thrown in my life. I think I'm going to do a um, a skit about that today, y'all. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm not really sold on it. I mean, shit. At the end of the day, bro, I don't really think anything big of it. What is it? Javon Wims, I believe. Is it Javon Wims? Not really. Not really sold on that. I'm waiting to see if Javon White is going to come back. That's what I'm waiting on. Right now, you guys, that's what I want to hear from today. It's, it's literally been three weeks now. He can he can come off the IR. I know that a few days ago, he was actually on the third practice field, uh, getting a little workout in over there. So I'm definitely waiting to see if Javon uh, White, or I'm Javon White, you already know, if, if White's going to be back. I was talking about Javon Williams. My, my apologies, y'all. It's too early, man. It's too early. It's too early. But I want to see if White's going to be back. I want to definitely see if White's going to be back. Uh, Rule Boy, you watch Red Fro Mike Dip? Yes, I loved it, man. I loved it. I love the part where he said, they can't stop us. They can't stop us. Loved it, man. Loved it. Shout out to Red Fro, man. True Raider. Dude don't even look like a football player, but he be balling the fuck out. Let me see, man. Shout out to Efren. Loved your video um, of Life of a Raider fan on Saturday watching the game with Bronco fans. I said, you know you are a Raider fan if you are nervous. On 4th and 20, sure enough, it happened. Man, that shit had me mad. That shit had me mad, Efren. But shout out to you, my brother. Look, as Raider fans, I think we already knew what was coming, right? We already knew what was coming. Knock Andrew. OJ and the Blunt for breakfast. Talk that talk. Talk that talk. Uh, Panthers drafted running back um, Chubba ha uh, Hubbard in the 4th to back up McC uh, McCaffrey. Should we do the same next year in the draft? Shout out to Chubb, uh, uh, Hubbard, too. I believe Oklahoma State, right, Walt? Is he Oklahoma State? I liked him in college. I, I was actually hoping that we would get him. I had him in a few of my um, a few of my mock drafts. Um, but I, look, at this point, we have so many running backs on the roster. There's, there's no real reason to, to reach for one in the fourth. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys are coming out of the fifth, sixth, seventh, even undrafted. You know what I mean? So – Nah, man. I think we have a young guy with Regis, man. Be patient with him. See what he can do. Um, Hubbard has, I mean, he's not shown that he can really do anything in his league yet. We'll see now because I know uh, McCaffrey's out a few weeks. So we'll definitely see what uh, Chubba can do. But I don't know, man. I, I, me personally, Mayock has been killing it in those third. Well, I ain't going to say third because he's terrible in the third. Those fourth, fifth, sixth rounds. He's He's been really, really great in them later rounds. So I don't want him to go running back anytime around there. I'd rather have him stick to the defense. You see what happened with Nate Hobbs. You know what I mean? Like, I want – what, what? I mean, shit, Max. You know, we got Max later on. 
you know, out of uh, Eastern Michigan. You know what I mean? So I, I just I want to see him stick to the defense in those later rounds. I, I'd rather not get a running back at all. Shout out to Glenn, man. Top of the morning, Docs 4-0. Let's go. Bahamas. Shout out to the Bahamas. Yes, man. Shout out one more time to D.C. Offensive player of the month. That is huge, man. Over 1,200 passing yards. That is so dope, man. It's so great to see D.C. finally getting some respect um, in the league. Shout out to D.C., man. Um, you know what it is. You know what it is. Got a feeling Yannick is going to have a big game Monday. Renfro and Allen Uber says of wide receivers breaking DB's ankles. Shout out to Demarcus. Yes, man. Um, we do know that Yannick will be playing on that left side. He's going to be playing against uh, Rashawn Slater, who hasn't gave up a sack since week 11 in 2018, 2019, I believe, out of Northwestern. Um, this is going to be the week. This is going to be the week. Uh, it's time for Yannick to eat, man. He's been so close so many damn times. I think this is the week. And Rashawn Slater, yes, you are a really good left tackle, but you haven't faced a Yannick yet. I think that Yannick is going to be that guy that's going to – look, Matt Max is going to get a lot of uh, doubles, a lot of looks on that right side because they have what, – what is it, Storm Norton or some shit? I forgot what his name is, the right tackle. He's terrible. So Max is definitely going to feast on that right side. They'll probably put a um, – tied in over there to chip you know what i mean so he's gonna get a lot of looks over there i think yannick needs to get off on that on that left side against rashawn slater it's definitely time to see yannick eat everybody's got their eat on thus far man everybody's eight thus far you know what i mean max solomon thomas nasib it's time for yannick to do his thing um town business Stu rat randomly just hit me up on ig one day brother he just randomly hit me up and said i love what you're doing and from there, we just built a relationship, man. Shout out to my big bro, Stu. Crazy as fuck. Love him to death. Um, is Incognito done for the season? Bo, no, he's not. He'll be back soon. He'll definitely be back soon. Um, there's no reason to rush him. There's no reason to rush him back. We keep saying this over and over, y'all. Like, we're 3-0 and without him. There's no reason to rush him, rush him back. You know what I mean? Um, he'll miss the next three weeks. He'll probably I, – I say we, we keep him – we keep him out until after the, um, after the bye week. By week is week eight, I believe. So I think I think that he'll be back week nine. That's what I think. That's what I truly think. Um, shout out to Rule Boy, man. Dax, how do you feel about Ruggs' comment and Renfro's mic'd up? If I heard it right, he said if they pass me the ball, like he was mad. Nah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think anything out of that. I didn't think anything of that. Look, man, Ruggs has been eating, bro. Ruggs has, has already got over 200 uh, receiving yards. You know what I'm saying? He's been getting a lot of burn. DC has definitely been looking his way a lot. So I don't, I, I'm not taking anything um, out of that at all, man. Shout out to Rude Boy, though. I appreciate you, King. You over there dissecting shit. I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Let me see. Let's get these comments in, man. Richie will be back week six. That's minimum three weeks. I hear you all. I just think, I think he'll be back later, to be honest, because there's no reason, to, no reason to rush him back. That shows with uh, Stu was a great man. All that show with Stu is great, man. Got me through the work uh, work day. Had me cracking up. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Um, that's what's up, Big Shane. He said he got my One Nation shit, man. That's dope, bro. Oh, we got some special things in the works, you guys. I think you're definitely going to be happy, man. Shout out to every one of you guys, man, for definitely being here with me, bro, because we're growing. A lot of people are seeing uh, the movement and the progress over here, and we definitely got some big things in the works, man. Definitely, bro. Uh, stay tuned, man. These next few days um, is going to be a ride, man. Definitely, man. Shout out to everybody in the, in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody who's just supported this channel, man. Shout out to everybody else reaching out to me to do some things behind the scene. We're definitely on the way to doing some big, big things, man. Shout out to you guys, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. And can y'all hear me good? This Wi-Fi keeps going up and down. Are we good? Is, is the camera good? Is every, Is everything good? Let me know. Let me know. Shout out to Snoops, man. Four receivers with 200 plus yards. Talk that talk, Snoops. Only, only team in the league with that. Speaking of that, Aaron, put some respect on Carr's name. Talk that shit. Well deserved, Graf. Thank you, my brother. Let me see. Will Merrick get his first pick? I think so. I think so. Um, Herbert is acceptable, man, to throwing INTs, man. You know what I mean? He made, a, he made a few mistakes already this year. I think he got – does he have three INTs? I think three interceptions, six TDs, 
three INTs, I believe. I believe Mary can get one this this, uh, this week. I do. I truly do. It may be Nate Hobbs, though, but I think Mary can. Which LBs are we cutting to make room? I don't think we're going to cut any of them, Shima. Denzel Perriman has looked great. Um, KJ Wright was limited um, last week, and it's only because of the scheme. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is what I love about Gus Bradley and Richard Smith and, and Ron Miles. These guys play, they, they, they game plan, you know what I mean, against the people that they're playing. Like, KJ didn't play a lot. I don't know if y'all seen that. KJ didn't play a lot. It's because it just didn't fit the game plan. We game plan great against Miami's offense. Uh, but KJ's no, you know, he's not going anywhere. Uh, so KJ Rice going to be in there. Denzel Perriman is going to be there. Littleton's not going anywhere. Littleton is having a resurgence this year. We're not cutting anybody. Divine Diablo is going to be there because he's a look, third rounder. He's young. He's been playing a lot of special teams. He was even out there for, I think, a few snaps on at safety. Um, I don't think we make any cuts to bring Javin White back. I don't because I, I truly believe that um, – Nicholas Morrow is gone for the season. So I don't think we're going to see Nicholas Morrow at all. From what I'm hearing behind the scenes is, you know what I mean? It, it, it's a broken foot. I could be wrong. You know what I mean? I, I've said this a few times, but what I'm hearing is he's, he's going to be done for the season. Yes. I, look, I loved watching Peanut. Loved watching Peanut as well, man. Finally brought him off the practice squad. For those who don't know, former Baltimore Raven, for, for, uh, former New York Jet, um, Patrick Peanut, Asawar. You know what I mean? He was actually really good on special teams as well, man. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Kiwi Raider, what's up, my brother? Yeah, I had to take me a day off, man. I need a little bit of rest, a little bit of relaxation, man. Spend some time with my family. I got that second shot, too, y'all. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Yesterday, I was down, man. I slept all day. I slept all day. I was just in and out of sleep all day. Effort says video freezes occasionally. My Wi-Fi has been tripping, y'all. It's the weather out here in Dallas, man. So my apologies if it's going in and out. My apologies, y'all. You know what? I think I might have to take this closer to the um, I might have to set up in the kitchen, y'all. It's a lot closer to the to, to, to my shit. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Wipe them feet, hit that thumbs up, you guys. We are definitely only 100 subscribers away from 10K, so make sure you hit that sub button if you're not subbed yet. I appreciate you guys, and if you want to become a member of the channel, the link is up top. That is one of the best ways to support the channel. I appreciate you guys. Hey, Docs, do you finally agree with me that car is better than Mahomes? No. <laughs> Mile high, I love you, brother. I love DC. That that's That's a very, very, that's a stretch. That is a stretch. You can't say D.C. is better than Mahomes. Is Mahomes having a down year thus far through the first three weeks of the season? Yes. Uh, Mahomes is just trying to do too much. He's out there trying to play and one basketball. He's trying to do all kind of no looks. and It's just like you're doing extra goofy shit. And I hope he does that shit all along, all season long. Keep doing it. Because I, I would I, look, man, you keep making it. Yeah. Keep throwing them dumb interceptions and doing all that extra shit. But he's not. Bro, D.C. is not better than Patrick Mahomes. You're still talking. To, I hate the Chiefs. But Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. When he's on his game, bro, nobody's better than Mahomes. I hate to say it, but it is, it's just facts. Um, Tim, have you heard anything about Roger Teamer? I'm really excited. Yeah, man, that ankle injury, man, has just been lingering, bro. I, I, I'm waiting on him because, I look, he's he'll play a lot of um, backup safety. He'll be backing up, you know what I'm saying, uh, Abram back there. And he'll play a lot of special teams. He's a dog, man. He's a dog, bro. I definitely am waiting, but I have not heard anything yet. I'm just hearing that they're taking their time with him uh, with, with his ankle injury. You know what I mean? So um, hopefully we see him soon. Orlando, that's facts, bro. Hella extra for no reason. Graphic, whose jersey should I get? Current player. Me personally, brother, I would tell you to get a legend just because these guys, they're in and out so, so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't know who's going to stick around. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to name a current player, um, you have to go Waller because I think Waller is going to be a Raider for life. Um, get a Mad Max. Mad Max, man, I think we're going to extend him here soon. He'll probably be a Raider for life as well. Um, but me personally, you can never go wrong with a Tim Brown or a Charles Woodson or a Howie Long. Um, you know what I mean? Just the legends, man. You know what I mean? Because they're legends. They retire Raiders. You know what I mean? It's just it's always best to go that route because you never know who the hell – a DC, I think DC, and, and DC has been a writer for eight years, so I don't think he's going anywhere either. You can go get a Bo Jackson, a Marcus Allen, 
But um, it's just kind of tricky, man, when you want to get a jersey from today because you just don't know who the hell is going to be around next year. You know what I mean? You just don't know. It's so unpredictable, man. Um, let me get this super in real quick. Shout out to TGI Prince. The fact that we haven't had a good first half yet offensively, does that leave you concerned or my op more optimistic? It, actually, bro, it makes me more optimistic because at some point we're going to get going. We're going to get going um, in the first half. And once we do, it's all gas, no brakes. It's, it's, no, it's all gas, no brakes at that point. Once we get going in that first half, we're already putting up 30 points a game. Imagine starting off fast. I believe he can put up 40 on anybody. So I, I'm not I'm not concerned, brother. I'm more optimistic. I think that we're going to get it together here soon. 90% of Mahomes' plays come from scrambling around. He barely can run scripted plays. He's more talented than Carr, but Carr has a better IQ. That's my opinion. I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that town business. I just know that um, Patrick Mahomes is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You know what I mean? That's all I can say. And an MVP. So, but yeah, I, I, I feel you, bro. But that that's a talent in itself when you're scrambling around creating plays on the fly. But fuck Mahomes, though. Sub Docs, Raider Nation, any word on Richie? Tired of seeing him sit when we need him. Nothing. He's, he's on the IR, brother. He'll be gone the next three weeks. And then we, then we can reevaluate him. I think that's the idea is to reevaluate him in three more weeks. I think that's the I think that's the plan. Reevaluate him in three weeks, see where he is, and then we go from there. Let's start it off right on Monday. Yes, we need to start fast. We need to score quick because you do not want to allow Herbert to go up on you seven or fourteen points. If you go up on look, if we're down fourteen to zero against the Chargers, I am going to be very nervous, very nervous, because that team you do not want to play behind on this team. You do not want to play behind on this team at all. Big Shane, appreciate you, my brother. Damn, Graf, I just realized it's almost the first of the month. Here's a little something to keep them lights on so I can see you wipe my feet. I'm screaming 11K subs by, by, uh, by the bye week. Appreciate you, my brother. Let's go, Nation, Raider Nation for life. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much, man, for the kind words and the donation, King. I totally appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. He said Help you keep them lights on. You ain't never lied, King. Never lied. Shout out to my dog, Shane, man. He said, Richie's at the Bunny Ranch getting some purple haze. Talk that talk, Kev. But we can't start off slow against good teams in my body. Yeah, bro, you can't. You can't, bro. Especially, especially this team. These guys have put up some points on us. And you don't want to play behind on these guys. Pimp says, Falon, Perriman, Hayward will want revenge on their old team. One player at each level. Shit, one coach at each level as well. You know what I mean? Richard Smith, linebacker coach. I mean, Gus Bradley, defensive coordinator all around. And then Ron Miles, a defensive coordinator. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, defensive backs coach. So, you know what I mean? Pretty much every level outside of Ron Marinelli on, on the defensive line. So, I feel you. I feel you. Trust me, Temp. I feel you. People tend to forget that we got the linebackers coach as well from the Chargers from last year. You know what I mean? We've got linebacker coach, defensive back, defensive coordinator. So we definitely know what we're going against. And trust and believe, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, the Chargers have a different offense this year. Yes, they do. But they still have the same personnel. They still have the same players. So these coaches are going to know the tendencies of these wide receivers and these running backs and this quarterback. They're going to know the tendencies from these guys. They coached them for a while. They're going to know about their game. So I'm not, I'm not too nervous about that. I think Gus is going to game plan well against this. Um, shout out to Sean, man. Yo, Docs, I got a 10-day head start on, on Sober October. Feels great, man. That's so dope, brother. Shout out to you, Sean. Sober October's going down, brother. It's going down. And we got, what, one more, two more days of the month? And then it's lit. Shout out to my guy, Sean, man. Mo Dizzle, if A. Reed retires after this year for health reasons, is the West wide open? All those KC contracts are coming up soon. That team can get blown up. Um, I think the West is already. It's already up for grabs right now, bro. I definitely think it's up for grabs already, to be real. I mean, shit, they're one and two. We're three and oh. Broncos are three and oh. The Chargers just beat KC. They're two and one. They're they're one play away from being three and oh. Um, the West is wide open already, my brother. 
So with if with Andy Reid or without Andy Reid, the West is wide open. Shout out to you, my guy. Shout out to my brother Mo Dizzle, always supporting the channel, man. Appreciate you, guy. My guy, guy. Uh, shout out to Kev, man. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's October first, you guys. Yeah, I'm a I'm, look, man. Still, I was like, I'm still, I'm still trying to take everything in. Like I said, I got that second uh, 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 Pfizer shot. I've been down and out. My body, my my arm, my head. You know, what I mean, I've been down for a few for 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 the last 24 hours. So I don't even know what the hell day it is right now. To be honest with you, um, shout out to you, Kev. Appreciate you, my brother. Shout out to um, let me see, let me see. I'm trying to get all you guys in. Shout out to uh, Zach. What up, Docs? Do you think we can beat the Chargers since they're the? Uh, I'm not. To be honest, bro, I'm not worried about that. We we can beat them regardless. Nobody knows this team better than us. We play against them twice a year. Um, we have the coaching staff that's been there for years. I, like like I said, with Richard Smith, with with Ron Miles, with Gus Bradley, a few players, with Casey Hayward, Darius Falone. Um, you know, what I mean, like I'm not really too worried. I'm not really too worried. He said, and I will be at my first NFL game on Monday. Have a ball, Zach. Take a bunch of pictures, man, and enjoy the ride, brother. Nothing like going to another a, a road home game. Nothing like it. Yeah, man, wipe them feet, y'all. Wipe them feet. Definitely wipe them feet. Shout out to my brother, Chili, man. The O-line has been okay, but they got to keep Carr off the ground. We have a lot of games left. We got to uh, protect our QB better. This is facts, brother. Facts, man. I couldn't agree with you more. I think they're going to get it together. I think it's going to take some time, man. These guys are still gelling together. They're still gelling together. It's going to take some time. We, but look, we're three and zero. We're three and zero. Can't get any better than that, right? Except for going four and zero. So you know, shout out to my brother Chili Man Thor. What's up, my brother? That Docs, I'm grabbing every family member phone to subscribe to your channel. Pushing for the 10K. Shout out to my brother, Stunner Dave, man. Raiders! I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we are 100 away, y'all. We are 100 away. Shout out to my brother, Nizer, man. My brother, man. You know I love you to death, King. You know I love you to death, King. Shit, he hasn't yet. I mean, he's been looking good. He's been looking good, Walt. I think I think he threw one pick six. Did he have one fumble against Baltimore? But he's been great. He's been great, man. You can't you can't ask for anything more from DC right now, man. Playing behind a new offensive line, um, literally taking advantage of every one of his weapons. Everybody's getting the ball. He's passing it around. Waller, Renfro, Zay's getting his looks. Ruggs is looking like a star now. Brian Edwards is looking like a future star. I mean, he's passing the ball around. Foster Moreau has a TD this year. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, I'm not mad, bro. I'm not mad. I'm definitely not mad. Yeah, he's had a few fumbles, but but, but has he gave one away? And shit, when you when when you're jumping up off uh, three feet, three four feet off the ground every damn snap, it's gonna be easy to fumble the ball, man. It's gonna be easy to fumble the ball. Ad man, appreciate you, King. We don't have to win in a shootout against them. This is the year we actually have a good defense, but we cannot let Justin breathe back there, and we need Josh. Talk that talk, bro. If we get Josh Jacobs back, man, uh, I, I really truly believe, man, control the clock, keep Justin off the field, let the defense do their thing, and boom. I think those are the three three things. Get the run game going because they're, they're, the run defense is not great. Establish the run game. Keep D.C. clean and let the defense do what they've been doing. I think we're ranked 15th in the league right now, defense-wise, right? I think we're ranked 15th. That's just fire, bro. Like, when the fuck can we say, man? When's the last time we could say that shit, bro? That's crazy, man. Um, Docs, you could say we 3-0 until tomorrow. That still doesn't make me become unbothered and nervous about everything. The O-line, uh, except Colton Miller, dude, I'm shook for D.C. Sorry, bro. You ain't got to be sorry, King. At the end of the day, bro, everybody takes this shit differently. I'm just saying I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I'm, I'm not worried, bro. We're three and oh. <laughs> I'm not look until we until we start, God forbid, we put 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 up some losses back to back. That's when I'm gonna get nervous. Right now, I'm not nervous about nothing. We're we're winning games. We're finding a, a ways to win games every week. So I'm I'm not nervous about nothing. At the end of the day, man, you know, I don't care how we do it. I don't care how we get it done. I don't if, if it's ugly, if it's beautiful, we're winning. We're winning games. Is Trayvon ready to go this Monday? I'm hearing really good things about um, Trayvon uh, Mullen. I know he went down 
on that um that PI that he jumped him and him and um Mary got hurt on that play. But um, I'm hearing that he's okay. I'm hearing that Mullen is good to go. I'm definitely hearing that Mullen is good to go. Shout out to uh, Jackie. Happy we don't face KC until after our bye week. We're going to be ready to go at that point, right? We're definitely going to be ready to go at that point. Raider Joe, you know it's all love, my brother. You know it's all love, man. Come on. You know it's all love. You know I had to sub. You already know. But, uh, yeah, by the time we play KC, this O-line's already going to be gelling together. Uh, Richie should be back. Um, Josh should be healthy as an ox. You know what I mean? So we should be ready to go when, when we play KC. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. Go in the arrowhead and ball the fuck out. You know what I mean? You think we will see John? Uh, appreciate you, though, Jackie, as always, love. Cool Kev says, we need both trades Monday. Swish. Talk that talk, Aaron. I think we'll get an update today. I definitely think we'll get an update today. Uh, Black Smob says, Amik should be the third corner over our net, bro. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Raider Jim says, much love from Big Jersey. Shout out to Jers. Dirty Jers, man. Shout out to my brother Hancho and Raider Jim, man. I hope we can show our full potential this Monday night. I think we will. It's a divisional game, man. Gus is going to want this game. Gus is going to want this game. Ron Miles is going to want this game. Richard Smith is going to want this game. Casey Hayward is going to want this game. They did not want to bring Casey back. They did not want to bring Casey back. Arnett is such an L. At this point, he is, man. At this point, he is. At this point, he is. Look, let's, let's quit talking about Klee. Let's talk more about Arnett. Because at the end of the day, Klee was in there, man. He was in on that sack with Solomon Thomas and Nassett. He was the third man in. So, look, Klee's still showing his worth. Damon Arnett needs to do the same thing. That two-point conversion, man, that shit was ugly. We need to score on opening drives. This is facts. And I believe that this will be the week. This will be the week. Shima, this will be the week. This will be the week. Shout out to Quiet Storm. I love how the media is still doubting Raiders and supporting KC, talking about how they have those losses because of how hard the schedule is as comedy. Bro, you know how this shit go, bro. You know how this shit go, bro. You know how it goes. And the only reason I don't bring Perriman up too much, Steven, he's been gone for a while. He's been gone for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been gone for a while with the Chargers. He went to Carolina. And then I don't bring around, I don't bring up Darius Falone either, because after his time with the Chargers, he went and signed a two-year deal with Arizona, even though he didn't get to play because he was suspended. But um, you know what I mean? I just I, I know he went and got a two-year, $10 million deal with Arizona. So I don't really look at, you know, it's just still not fresh. It's Casey, but Casey is fresh. He played there last year. Gus coached there last year. Ron Miles, Richard Smith coached there last year. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. 300 plus, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Wipe them feet. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, man. We're definitely on our way. We're definitely on our way to 10K, y'all. We're definitely on our way. We need 98 subscribers, you guys. We need 98 subscribers. And then we're going to celebrate. Then we're going to celebrate. You know, the, the thing was, I was hoping, I was hoping we can get to 10K today, right? Because Sober, uh, uh, sober October starts tomorrow. If we can get to 10K today, we are going to celebrate tonight. I'm going to go get me a fifth of Don Julio. And we're going to celebrate because tomorrow I can't have no alcohol. <laughs> I can't have no alcohol. So let's, let's try to get to 10K today so we can celebrate tonight with some shots. We need 98 subscribers. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Something going on in the chat? Something going on in the chat? I don't like that. What, what, what do you say? What do you say? Yeah, Rick, we're definitely going. Uh, so, I've been sober anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, but... We're doing a whole sober October. Shit, to be honest, man, I've only drank maybe four or five times in the past 45 days. To be real. To be real. My bold prediction, Willie Sneed, a.k.a. the Hobgoblin, will score a TD or you get 10K subs. Shout out to Shima. I appreciate you, family. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate you. He spelled out that racist word. Who, who, who's saying some racist shit? I can't see nothing. Shout out to Shima. I, yeah, I gotta get whoever the fuck it is, get this person out of here. Get him out of here. Who is it? Y'all let me know the name so I can get him up out of here. Bro, that's a weird ass name. Yeah, let me go ahead and block this dude. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. God. Gone, gone. You out of here, King. You out of here, King. We don't play that shit. We don't play that shit, bro. Boy got shot. Boy got shot, didn't he? Shout out to Shima. I appreciate you, family. Sober October is nothing for me because my birthday is on the 20th. <laughs> Just had my wife sub. Appreciate you, family. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. One closer now. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to Ramirez. Willie Sneed, a.k.a. Baraka from Mortal Kombat. He do look like that. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. He do. He do. Sauce Nation, appreciate you, brother. Do you think the offense is going to feast on a defense full of players Gus drafted, or is our defense going to shut down a second-year QB he practiced against for the entire year? Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think you shut down Justin Herbert. He's that nice. I don't think you shut him down. I, I just think that we can contain him. You know what I'm saying? Look, if he puts up three touchdowns, we need D.C. to put up four. You know what I mean? I, look, I, I think that we're going to win the turnover battle, and I think that's what's going to be big this game. I think that's what's going to be big this game is, is winning the turnover battle. I think maybe Casey Hayward gets an INT, maybe Merrick, maybe Hobbs, maybe a forced fumble recovery from Yannick. We've been waiting on one of those. But we have to win the turnover battle. We definitely have to win the turnover battle um, come Monday night. Shout out to TS. Just got in docs. Do you think we see Amik more now over our net? I do. I do. And Amik is balling. Put him on the outside, please. I don't care how short he is. P keep Amik on the outside. He's been balling. This light, man. I need to go get some new lights. This shit dies in like 10 minutes now. But real talk, I, I truly believe, man, Arnett is way, I mean, uh, Amik is way better on the outside. Um, and he's just, Arnett's not showing us anything, man. Anything, anything. Shout out to TS. Turnover difference will determine winner. Both offenses are showing major power right now. Facts. And let's be honest, too, y'all. The Chargers have not been able to establish the run game at all. Eckler has not been able, he's not been balling out. He's not been balling out. Most of, most of the shit he's been getting has been in the passing game. You know what I'm saying? So they have not been able to establish the run at all. So um, the turnover battle is going to be real. It's going to be definitely real because I think that Herbert's going to be uh, forcing a lot of passes. But he has some great receivers to get the ball to. But I think he's going to force a lot. Definitely. Let me see. Any status on team or nah, Max? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I know that he's nursing that ankle injury, but I have not heard anything yet. I think we'll hear. I think we'll hear some more today. I think we'll definitely hear some more news today. I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of videos today, you guys. So, uh, whatever I hear, I'm definitely gonna um, report on it. Uh, Brandon says I had the Chiefs in last place all summer. Super Bowl hangover. Coach son facing prison. They got issues. Talk that talk, riddles. Talk that talk, my brother. Shout to Michael Silva. Make them one dimensional. And right now they are. They actually are. They can't run the ball. You know what I mean? They're one of the worst run uh, uh, run teams in the league right now. Yo, Docs, do you think Amik will be getting more run if uh, he was taller or a higher draft pick? I just think if he was taller, period, he'd be out there balling, not even be, not even because where he was drafted. Because wasn't Amik drafted in the fourth round out of Louisiana Tech? I thought it was the fourth. So, I mean, he, look, he wasn't drafted too high. I mean, too low. I want us to wear our black unis Monday night. G-Town, and I, I heard a rumor that the NFL um, approved us to wear our black jerseys. I could be – that could have been somebody trolling, but I heard the NFL literally approved us for wearing the black jerseys because it's like it's another home game. I don't know if the NFL would do that. I think that's why – I think somebody's trolling. But um, I've seen it a lot on Facebook and IG and all over the place. Bruno says, what do you think of the uh, – the Chargers uh, guy saying we're losing Monday and taking bets on TikTok. I, I haven't even seen him. And to be honest, I don't even – do they have fans? Like, I think they maybe have, like, four or five of them shits. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never seen a Charger on TikTok. 
They got like four or five of them motherfuckers. I've been looking for Charger fans to talk shit with on Twitter, and they just don't exist. I've been trying to go on Twitter and troll these motherfuckers. I just, where are they? I, 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 just, I don't know where they are. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Wipe them feet. Hit that thumbs up button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. We're getting to we're getting closer and closer to our dream, y'all. We need we need we need 90 now. We need 90 subs. We need 90 subs. If we get 90 today, man, I'm definitely about to go get a fifth of Don Julio. And we're celebrating tonight. And I still want to put together that uh Oak Las Vegas uh giveaway package, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Let me see. Chargers are giving up a lot of rushing yards. We need to pound the rock Monday. Keep the ball out of Herbie's hands. That's what I've been saying, brother. That's what I've been saying. Shout to shout to Sean. Definitely. They've been giving up a lot of ass in the run game. A lot. It's time to run that ball. It's time to run that ball down their throats. If Josh, this would be the perfect week for Jacobs to return. The perfect week. Shout out to Snowball. Carr is a true leader and oppressor. He took blame for Foster stopping on that pick six. Carr doing what he always could do. Just needed a defense. I agree with you, brother. I agree. I agree. But the more I look at things of, of that play, the more I'm realizing, even with Stu, Stu said that was DC's fault. Um, Andy said it was Stu's fault. The more you go look at the, look at the tape, it was DC's fault. But as a true leader, I mean, D.C. always takes the full blame. He always takes the full blame for everything. You know what I mean? We would be winning last year and then lose the game last second because the defense was asked and D.C. was saying he has to do better. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to D.C. He's a true true leader regardless, period, point blank. But that was D.C.'s fault. The more and more I look at it, it really was. Uh, Foster was supposed to stop. He was supposed to stop in that coverage. T-Wave, what do you think about the McCoy situation? I don't. I don't think anything about it, T-Wave, to be honest, bro. I really don't. I think that that was his doctor's fault. I think the NFL keeps playing these games of what you can and what you can't take to, to help your body heal up. Um, I don't think McCoy is one of those guys that's going to that's gonna dope to try to get back to try to get back in the game and get better. I, I, I don't see it. I don't think I don't I really genuinely don't think Gerald McCoy did anything wrong or anything unbeknownst to him. I think that he genuinely uh Literally took some medicine that the doctors gave him and then come to find out later on, the NFL said, you can't take that. The NFL just names, they just, they create shit. They create shit. Like, <laughs> you can't take that. Like, we didn't even know we couldn't take that. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think anything of it. And at the end of the day, he's, he's serving his six game suspension right now. He would have been out anyway. But that bolts up shit is weird. Hey, Walt, man, everybody says I look like Keenan Allen, bro. Everybody says I look like Keenan Allen, bro. I look like Keenan Allen. I look like Keenan Allen, y'all. That's fucked up, man. Everybody says I look like Keenan Allen, bro. Everybody says I look like Keenan Allen, bro. Yeah, riddles, man. The NFL's full of shit. Definitely. Definitely. He said, hell yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, it's Keenan Allen. Bro, I get that shit every day now. They did McCoy dirty. Like, why even bring that shit up while, while he's on the IR? They're just trying to kill his character. KO, because he's a Raider, man. Because he's a Raider. Hey, Aaron, you know what's so crazy? I actually heard that Keenan Allen really is a Raider fan. Hold on, let me show y'all something. I heard that he's really a Raider fan. It's Keenan Allen. It's Keenan Allen. There you go. Bolts up. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, Brandon, man. Hey, can we talk about Mad Max and Slater? Um, I don't think Mad Max is going to be on that side, little bro. 
I don't think he's going to be on that side. I think it's going to be Yannick. Uh, Yannick versus Rashawn Slater. I think that Mad Max is going to draw up the uh, right guard, right? Or the right tackle, uh, Storm Norton. I believe. I believe it's Storm Norton on the right on, on, at right tackle. So I think that Max is going to get that right side. I think that Yannick's going to have the left. So it should be Yannick versus Rashawn Slater. And I like it. I like our chances. I'm taking Yannick 10 times out of 10 against the rookie left tackle. Drake needs to run better and pick up the blitz better. This is facts. He's been blocking pretty well, though. He's, he's been blocking pretty well up until uh, last week. Norton is going to have a long night. Facts, bro. Well, exactly. He's a backup. Brian Balaga or Beluga, whatever the hell you want to say his name is, he's out uh, for an extended amount of time. So their backup right tackle is terrible. Storm Norton is terrible. Raider Nation, you know what's so funny, bro? I, I, I truly, like, that's pretty much around the score I got. I'm going to say 34 to 31. I'm going to say 34, 31 Raiders. Let me get y'all score predictions. Let me get y'all score predictions. I got 34, 31 Raiders. 34, 31 Raiders. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about that? Let me know what y'all think. But I got his tattoo. I got his tattoo. Look, 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 look. I got it. I got I got Tyson's tattoo. It's that green screen, man. It's that green screen, bro. 27, 24, 31, 27. Great apes is 42 to 24. I gotta get that damn. I gotta get that tattoo off me, man. Graphic Keenan Dox Allen. All love my boy 35 24. Willie Wayne got a 33 to 30. Raider Knack, 30 to 27. Freaky Raider, 34 to 27. Love that name, man. Real shit. Bernie Mac, 28, 21. Quiet Storm, 33, 27. Ed Butts, 27 to 24. Ernest, 20, uh, 31 to 24. Shima, 38 to 21. VGK got a 35 to 17. Okay, okay. Okay. I don't like I'm, why is it doing that? I don't like that. I don't like that. Let me get this, let me get this green screen out of here real quick. Hold on. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, there we go. There we go. Now I don't have shit on my face. <laughs> we need to put Isaiah Johnson on Mike Williams down the stretch. Oh, never mind. That would have been a great bro. The size, the size makes sense. Raider, Raider Queen says Terminator Dax. <laughs> I love it. Dakota says new tat. <laughs> Snoops, I think I need to go buy some more of my Lanta for Monday. Man, bro, this is facts. Facts. Dax, do you see Diablo uh, was playing safety in our dime package and he, and he was rushing the passer? Love how they're using him. And he's only going to get better with time, Sean. He's, he, was all, he was all around. He gave up that big fourth and 20, though. That was the only play where I was like, you got to be kidding me, bro. I put Casey Hayward on Mike Williams. Soto, I think you may have to do that. To me, Casey, you know, I mean, he's, 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 he's a lot shorter than him. But I think Mullen matches up better with Keenan Allen. Either way, we're going to be in for a ride, man. You know what I mean? Then they got Jared Cook as well. You know what I mean? Jared Cook has looked good. Don't get me wrong. He's a lot older now, but um, he's looked good. Shout out to John. It would be dope if, the L if LV wore the black unis anyways. I want them to rebel. Talk that shit, John. Appreciate you on the donation, King. My brother, my brother. Shout out to Pern. Graph, how the media discredits us for beating an injured Baltimore team but don't have the same energy when that same – bro, I got to keep telling y'all, Pern, they do this shit on purpose because they know we have one of the biggest fan bases in sports, period. You know what I mean? So they know that we're going to get upset. They know we're going to click on all of their shit. They know we're going to go spread the word, spread their gospel on Twitter and Instagram and all that. They know that because we're a huge fan base. You know what I mean? we If we stop feeding into their bullshit, they're going to stop saying bad things about us. You know what I mean? It's just real, bro. That's why I don't even I don't even really pay any mind to these guys anymore. 
I really don't. I don't really watch anything. I don't watch, I don't watch all that other shit. You know what I mean? I really don't. I, I just I watch our Raider guys. I don't I don't really watch anything else outside of that, man, because these guys are weirdos. Our secondary hasn't been this good since Charles Woodson and Eric Allen. That says a lot too, G Town, because that was a while ago. Man. Zach says in math class, don't fuck up, bro. Keep your head in them books, King. Keep your head in them books, King. Knock. I'm thinking about going live tonight, brother. I think I'm going to bring a few people on tonight to talk, come talk some shit. You already know how it go. Let me see. Oh, I like that. Shout out to Raider Post, man. Shout out to my brother, man. He made me a 10K. He just hit me with this right now, the 10K subscribers. Shout out to my brother, Raider Post. For those who don't know Raider Post, he is the GOAT. He is the GOAT. He's always on Bleacher Report. Every one of his uh, pictures that he does goes on Bleacher Report. Shout out to my boy, Raider, uh, Raider Post, man. That's my dog, man. That shit's fire. That shit is fire, man. Shout out to my guy. Any, no, nothing yet, Dakota. We'll, we'll hear a little bit more today. Sophie, not real grass. My guess, no Jacobs. But this is the thing, though, bro. This is the thing, though. And if, if, if we're, we have to stick the same thing with, with, uh, with Allegiant, then, right? Because our next few home, our, our next few games are at home. You know what I mean? So, what do we got? We got, we got them in LA on turf. We got Chicago at home on turf, and then I think we go to Denver, right? I think we go to Denver. I think we go to Denver, or there's somebody else. We get Philly. We get Philly, right? And then we go to Denver? I don't know. Oh, shit. Let me just look this shit up. Let me just look it up. So, I mean, look, if, if we're going to play that kind of game, shit, we may not see him for a while then. Okay, we go at Denver. Okay, so then we have some grass uh, come week six. You know what I mean? So, I... oh, yeah, we do have real grass. I'm tripping, bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You are right. You are right. But same thing, though. Like, like, bro, like at some point, I don't care what we're playing on. If Josh is healthy, bring him back. Bring him back. You guys are right. You guys are right. I keep forgetting we got that billion, like seven billion dollar grass and shit. Yeah, it's real grass. It's real grass. Oh, Icy's doing his thing, Raider Joe. We, I, we talk, I talk to Icy every day. Talk to Icy every day. He's just, he just school, man, and work, man. He's young, man. My, my young bull is doing his thing. He's working and he's going to school, handling his responsibilities, man. Bring Josh back for this one game and sit him for health again. But Armando, that, that, that's the problem, though, my brother. If we bring him back and he hurt and re, he re injures it, then what? You know what I mean? Yes, I would love for him to come back against the Chargers in LA. But we're going to be playing against a great defensive line uh, with Chicago the following week. What are your keys to victory, bro? We have to win the turnover battle. We have to win the turnover battle. Um, our O line has to keep DC clean. You know they got Bosa. They got some guys over there, man. You know what I mean we have. They have to. They have to keep them clean. But um, I think this. This is. It's, we have to win a turnover battle. Definitely have to win a turnover battle. And our D line has to feast on that right side. With Storm Norton over there, we have to feed. We have to win on that right side. We have to. I think this can be a, definitely a big game for Max and Quentin Jefferson. <clears throat> Max and Quentin Jefferson can definitely win a big game if we can win on the defensive line. You know what I mean, if it look those guys can have a huge game. So that's gonna be two of my guys to watch for: Max and watch for Quentin Jefferson. Watch for those two guys on the, on, on the right side. Also, like I said, win the turnover, win the turnover battle, and establish the run. Those are the three things. Establish the run, win the turnover battle, and make sure our D-line uh, continues to feast. That's my three things. My three, my three keys to victory right there, bro. I say we rest Jacobs until we lose and let him get healthy for the rest of the season. Our backs are good enough to carry the load, especially if Barbara keeps pass blocking. Yeah, and I seen a play, man. Um, I forgot who shared it on Twitter today. 
Peyton Barber, he picked up that uh, picked up a corner blitz. Man, that was crazy. I need to find that footage, man, and share it with y'all. There was one play where this corner was about to kill DC, and Peyton Barber picked it up quick as shit on the left side. And um, man, that was a great, great block by Peyton Barber. Man, shout out to him. He's been a blessing in disguise, man. For real, for real. Leatherwood versus Bo says, Key, I'm, I'm going to be honest, Rude Boy, and you know who wins that battle. You know who wins that battle. It's going to be Bosa. That's why, man, Foster Moreau, Derek Carrier, they have to play a big, big part on that right side um, at tight end by, by helping, uh, helping Leatherwood, man. Chip away. Chip away. Chip away. Because, man, shit, even, even Waller, we, we're going to have to have that tight end over there on that right side to help. But Bosa is dealing with an ankle injury, y'all. I don't know how much that's going to affect him uh, come Monday night. He also has an extra day to heal. But, um, yeah, man, three tight ends at all times. This is facts, bro. <laughs> facts. Keep somebody on that right side to help Alex Leatherwood the entire game. The entire game. I hear you, Jason. I hear you, my brother. I hear you. But at the end of the day, man, come on, bro. Do you do you do you think that Leatherwood is gonna uh, beat an All Pro in Joey Bosa? I don't. Laugh out loud. Cut Bosa every play for real, for real, for real, bro. Wesley says my keys. To, uh, my keys. Run at Bosa all day because he's conditioning and his ankle. I like that, Wesley. Slow down, Mike Williams and Allen. That's gonna be a tough assignment. I don't know how we can do that, but definitely, I hear you. But our secondary has been great this far. But these guys are different. These guys are different. All right, let's, let's, we can easily say, right, that this is the best wide receiver, receiver duo that we played thus far this season, right? Easily better than Pittsburgh. Easily better than Baltimore. Um, easily better than Miami. Now, this is the best wide receiving quarter we're playing. Keep Herbert in the pocket. Yes. You do not want to let that young guy use his legs. You do not want to let that guy use his legs. Definitely don't. Graphic, are you going to have a Raider fan costume uh, contest for Halloween from all your followers? Oh, that's dope, G-Rob. Hey, who would want to do that? Shout out to my boy G-Rob. Who, who, who would want to do that? I think that'd be dope, man. Do like a giveaway or something. Like I'll give away like a, a T-shirt and a hoodie or something. You know what I mean? For the winner of the Halloween contest. That would be fire. G-Rob, I like that, man. If you guys, guys want to do that, let me know in the comment section. Watt says we have to cut block, man. Facts, bro. Facts. Bro, real talk, bro. Herbert can run. He can run, definitely. Shout out to the Raider, man. Who has the bigger dis uh, a bigger advantage? Herbert and A-Lynn, who knows Gus's defense in and out, or Gus, who knows Herbert and the offense in and out? Going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to say us. I'm going to say us because it's not just Gus. Yeah, Herbert and A-Lynn, cool. But no, hold on, A-Lynn. I thought Lynn is hold on. I thought Lynn was gone. Lynn ain't over there. Lynn ain't over there no more, right? Lynn's gone. Lynn ain't over there. But either way, like I said before, we got Gus, we got Richard Smith, and we got Ron Miles. We got three guys. Yeah, Anthony Lynn ain't there anymore, bro. He got fired. He got fired this past offseason. Yeah, he's in Detroit. There you go. Yeah, Lynn's gone. So they got Herbert. That's the only guy right now that's familiar with anything that we got going on. I think that we have the up and up. Look, this is still only a second-year quarterback, y'all. He's still learning the system. He's still – yeah, Staley. They got Staley over there, Sean. But I think we have the advantage. I definitely think we have the advantage. And Lynn has been terrible for the Lions. Offensive coordinator, they haven't been doing shit over there. And that defense is bad, too. But I, I think I think the Raider we have we have the upper hand, bro, at every level, at every level. Linebacker, we got their old linebacker and coach. You know saying like we have three defensive coaches that know Herbert in in and out. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely think that we have uh, the advantage. Question of the day: If bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks, what do you call Charger fans? <laughs> Shout out to my brother, man Thor, man, my dog. 
we got to be aggressive on defense. Make him scared. Talk that shit, Raider Queen. Talk that shit. Now, we knew what you were talking about, the Raiders. all love, my guy. You already know. Wesley, I don't think we really ever blitz like that. I don't think we ever really blitz like that. I would love to, but that's just that's just not Gus's MO. He doesn't like to blitz. And to be honest, we don't even have to blitz because why, why should we blitz when, when the defensive line has been doing what they're doing already this year without blitzing? We've been winning that battle already. You know what I mean? Once, once that defensive line, if they do slow down, knock on wood, that hope they don't, that if they do slow down, then you have to start looking at the blitz, right? But right now, there's no reason. Rob, appreciate you, brother. There's no reason to start blitzing. We're already winning. We're already winning. We're already winning that battle. You feel me? So really ain't no reason to. Um, shout to Cooley, uh, Fulio, man. What's good with you, my guy? My bro. Yeah, we don't need to. Our D-line is balling. There's no reason to. If, now, if that D-line slows down, then yes, definitely. Look, you got to start looking at the blitz. Yeah, definitely we good without the blitz. And we don't, yeah, facts, bro. Facts. Now, I like what Watt said right here, too. Make him throw short passes. Make him throw short passes. Aurora, Escobar, what's up, my brother? Aurora, what's up, King? Ricky says linebackers need to be ready. When D-line applies pressure, the linebackers are going to be huge. Yes. Here's another bold prediction, you guys. What do you guys think about Littleton getting an INT? What do you think about Littleton? Because, you know, he's our best cover, uh, our cover linebacker. What do you think about Littleton maybe getting an INT this game? I don't even think that's too much of a bold prediction. I think Littleton's going to be all over Jer uh, Jared Cook. I think he's going to be all over Jared Cook. So what do you what do y'all think about that? I definitely think that um that that he can get that a, a little tick can get an INT. We're mostly uh, blitzing on run plays, not pass plays, and that's smart. That's smart. What? <clears throat> do you think anyone comes off the IR this week? I think Jalen Rashard does. I think Jalen does. And if he does, I, I'm going to be honest, you guys, I think that, that the writing is on the, is on the wall that Jacobs is, is not going to play. If Rashard comes off the IR this week, I truly believe that that's just saying, you know what, Jacobs is going to sit another week. But I know that Jacobs is pounding the table right now behind the scenes to actually play. He wants to play. Um, Gabe, at this point, who's going to give up a fourth? Trust me, I would do that quick, quick. But I just don't think we get, I don't think we get a fourth for our net. Any news on Nicholas Morrow or Javen White? We'll know a little bit more today, Nick. We should know more today after Gruden's presser. But um, I think Morrow's gone, man. I keep saying it. I keep saying this every live. I think Morrow is gone for the year. From what I'm hearing behind the scenes, I'm hearing that Morrow's done. Uh, but Javen, you know, Javen can come back. I'm, I'm waiting for Javen to come back. That's my guy. That's the sideline, the sideline linebacker right there. And he can play safety. I would love to see... Javen play some safety in Gus Bradley's system, man. The way they had Devon Diablo playing, I would love to see Javen get that burn because he did a lot of that um, at UNLV in college. Yeah, Walt, this is facts, bro. Sixth is probably the best you get for our net. I'd rather see Richard in the game in crunch time than Drake. Oh, yeah, because he can black too. He can black. Yes, OC Nation. Uh, we signed Trey Regis back to the practice squad, brother. Definitely. He's definitely back to the practice squad. Um, Javen is our Fred uh, Warner. That boy is fast as fuck for a linebacker. He's quick as shit. Quick as shit. Oakland boy, too. Town business. You think Farrell is going to have a good game against the Chargers like past season? I do. Look, man, the more snaps he gets, the better. In limited fashion, he's been looking good out there, you guys. If you guys go look at the film, Farrell's been looking good against the run, and he's been in the backfield a few times. He just needs the opportunities. He needs the, he needs the reps. He needs the reps. Super says, Devon Diablo is likely cutting into Corey Littleton's time. He will be worked in at nickel linebacker. 
Mario says, uh, Mario gone for the year. This is the first time I heard that. Not saying he won't be out for the year, but I haven't heard this anywhere else. Mario, I'm, what I'm hearing from behind the scenes is his foot. This is what I heard. This is not something that I know. So don't don't quote me on it. But I'm hearing that foot is 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 worse than what we what we actually thought it was. I heard I heard it's worse. Yo, Docs, I think Perriman just got three more tackles during this live. <laughs> Shit, he probably did, Central Cali, man. Shout out to my bro, man. <laughs> Solomon Thomas up the middle. JD, did you see that play where he, that spin move that Solomon Thomas did on that sack? Bro, that spin move that he did on that sack, pause. That he did, that was crazy. Sean says he needs to demand reps by killing it in practice. Facts, brother. Everybody wipe them feet, you guys. Wipe them feet, man. Wipe them feet. Hit that sub button. Let me see where we are, man. We're definitely on our way. We are definitely on our way to ten uh, to ten k. Yes, we need eighty subs now, y'all. I don't think we're gonna do that today, though. I might have to do like six or seven videos today to get there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. But if you have not subbed yet, hit the sub button, man. We're almost to ten k. Keyshawn Nixon or Arnett Aurora at this point, I'm taking Keyshawn Nixon. <laughs> and that's sad to say, but this is what it is. And I like Keyshawn Nixon coming out of South Carolina. I was a fan of him. But, you know, he hasn't been great in the league yet. Solly is turning out to be a good pickup for us this season. AD, that's facts. And there was somebody I know um, that's named Ron with traffic, um, you know what I mean, that's been um, speaking highly of him all offseason. His name rhymes with traffic, bro. That's all I know. Um, Raiders, just hit the sub. Yes, talk that talk, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Shout out to Lewis, my brother, Docs. What's up, man? Miami going down, bro. Oh, shit, they already went down, King. Now it's, now it's the Chargers' turn. It's the Chargers' turn, my brother. What's up, people? Rock steady, man. Rock and steady. Dax, imagine our offense with Jacobs and Mariota back. Want to see plays in those packages? Yes. I think, man, I said this before. I think when, when uh, Mariota went down with that injury, I think that affected our offense a lot. That affected our run game. Because I, when Gruden said that he was a huge part of this offense this year, I believed him. I do. I believed him. I definitely believed him. I think that Mariota had a lot of drawn up plays um, and for him. And I think that that changed the offense. I definitely think that changed the offense. I think that's why the run game was so affected outside of the O-line, still taking time to gel. I think Mariota, um, his, his presence alone affected the run game. How many for 10K? We need about we need about 80, brother. I think we need about 80. Oh, we need less than 80 now, y'all. We need like 70-something. The man, the myth, the legend from OAKLA to LV. I'm a Raider. Ain't shit you could tell me. Shout out to Raiders, Raiders. Renfro, facts, brother. Come on, Johnny Bananas. That default pitcher is legendary, bro. He got to be about 17, 18 months pregnant. Whew. Shout out to my boy, Johnny Bananas. So I told him, I said, Arnett look like Lil Uzi. <laughs> Jay Kelly says, I want to see Mariota on fourth and one plays. Facts. Facts. Solomon doing what Key could never, 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 never. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, man, hit that link up top. Definitely up top. As always, Fresno. As always, my brother. I'm not going to Sophie, brother. Uh, but my little brother B is. B will definitely be at Sophie. He will definitely be at Sophie. I won't. I will not be. I'm trying to get out there next week uh, for Chicago, but I will not be at Sophie, my brother. Shout out to Brian. Yeah, he's not, bro. And, and it shows. It shows, bro. It shows. Hey, that's crazy, Gabe. We should pick up Asante Samuel Jr. with Hunter Renfro. Hey. Asante Sam has been another guy. Him and Nate Hobbs, man. Both these guys have been balling out of their minds this, 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 this season thus far. 
Santi Samuel Jr., that was a sneaky pickup from the Chargers, man. I'm going to the Giants and Colts game. Got the tickets yesterday. I'll be at both of them as well, Jeffrey. You'll see me, King. We definitely got to link up. Aurora says, I'm going to the Chicago. Bro, I'm literally, I have flights up in the next window over. I'm looking at flights. Christian says, wipe, tell them to wipe their feet. We deep in this bitch. Shout to the almost 400 people in the chat, man. Love you guys, man. Love y'all to death, man, for real. Raider Knack, yes. Hobbs is ranked number one. Samuels is ranked number two in rookies. Rookie corners. Wish we traded Henderson uh, to develop over our net. I, I would have did that effort in a heartbeat. Definitely in a heartbeat. Let's see where we at. Yeah, man, we getting there, y'all. I think we need like 70-something, you guys. We need like 70-something, man. Wipe them feet, man. I want to celebrate with you guys with some shots tonight, man. Because like I said, Oct Sober October starts tomorrow. I cannot drink starting tomorrow for 30 days. There's no alcohol involved. So I want to I I uh, celebrate with you guys tonight, man. I definitely do. I want to celebrate with the nation tonight, man. If we can get there tonight, man, I'm getting the fifth. A Don Julio, man, we're going to definitely just have a fucking ball tonight. I'm in Alabama. I'll be able to, I don't, uh, I don't think I'll be able to attend any games this season. Jeff, it's all love, brother. Watch from the comfort of your own home, King. I'm hyped. We are doing great right now, but I'm uh, ready for a playoff game. We can't stop this momentum. Raider Nation, you ain't never lie, King. Docs, if you come to Vegas for Chicago, let me know. Trying to do some live shows from the room at the Sahara. Get you with Samoan and whoever in. Let's go. Talk that talk, Thor. You already know my brother. I'm going to call you ASAP. You already know I'm going to call you like what I always do when I touch down, bro. You already know I'm not going to touch down in Vegas without hitting my big bro, man. Talk that talk. It doesn't cost too much to hit the sub. It actually don't cost nothing, bro. Oh, Graham, bro, I've been doing really, really good, bro. I've been doing really good, bro. Really good. I don't think you really understand, man. I've been doing really good. Really good. Charm City, I'm not going to be here. I'm actually flying to Atlanta, man. I was going to go to that game, but family first, man. Me, my wife, and my kids are going to go fly out there to go see my mom. So we'll, we'll be in Atlanta for Hall I mean, Halloween, for Thanksgiving. We'll be out there for like 10 days. So we're definitely going to be out there. But I am going to the Giants game. Me and my wife are definitely flying out to New York and uh, the Meadowlands to be out there. I'm actually I'm, we're actually going out there for my wife's birthday, celebrate in the city for a few days, and then go hit New Jersey and go rock for the game. Lewis says, Docs, I just hope the boys uh, have the pedal to the metal and don't let up. Facts, my brother. Facts, brother. No, Graham Cam, my brother, I'm, I'm very thankful for you. Very thankful for you, King. I appreciate you, my brother. That's real love right there, buddy. <clears throat> sub, y'all. It's really that easy if you sub. It's red turn. That sub gray for the Raiders, man. Talk that talk. Central Cali says, Docs, who was our best offseason acquisition? Casey Hayward or Yannick? I'm not even going to pick. I'm going to say both of them. Because Casey Hayward is not that good this year without Yannick. And... I can say vice versa, you know, low key. You know what I'm saying? But Yannick's pressure on the quarterback is allowing Casey Hayward to have more time back there with, with, with the uh, or or limiting the time that he has with the DB back there. You know what I'm saying? It's limiting the time that Casey has back there with the DB. So if I had to, I'd have to say uh, 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 Yannick because Yannick is creating more pressure. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's making Casey's life easier. But I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to say both Central Cali. I can't really pick one, man. I can't really pick one, man. I love both of them. I think they were both great pickups. I think Denzel Perriman was a huge pickup for us. That may be the best. That may sound crazy to y'all, but I think Denzel Perriman may be the best off-season pickup, period. Period. Period, point blank. The biggest disappointment easily is Drake. Biggest surprise, Thomas. Derader, you hit it right on the head, my brother. Ben Bad, Gus was our best acquisition. Well, we know that. We know that guarantee, but I'm just saying player wise, not, not coaching, but I, I agree with you, my brother. We all, we definitely know that. Docs, have you ever been to another NFL game besides the Raiders? 
Yes, I have for work purposes. Uh, one, I think a, a couple of years ago, I went to the Cowboys and Saints game. The Cowboys and Saints game out here in Dallas. I think it was a Thursday night game, Monday night game. I forgot what it was, but I went there for, uh, for work. So definitely, I definitely went to a game and I wore all my Raiders shit. Y'all would have been dying, bro. Everybody in that stadium was looking at me crazy. I had my Marshawn Lynch, uh, knee high socks. I had my my uh, I had a Mari Cooper uh, Raider jersey on because I had to sh I had to shit on him a little bit. You know what I mean? I had my Raider shorts, Raider hat, uh, 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 chains, everything. They were looking at me like I was crazy. But yes, I definitely have been to another game. That's it. That was the only one. Biggest disappointment is James, our center, cannot get pancaked again. That was disgusting. But let me tell y'all something, man. I can't even say he's the biggest disappointment because I just didn't – I don't expect anything from him anyway. Like, what film do we really have from him? I did not expect Andre James to be the best center at all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't. I just didn't – I'm just like, look, hopefully Tom Cable knows what he's doing. That's, that's all I can say. You know what I mean? I, I didn't expect Andre James – to go out there and just ball out of control. I, I truly didn't. Um, yes, I went to a lot of Sacramento Surge games, Shane. Um, Sacramento Surge, Sacramento, oh, uh, was it Gold uh, Rush? Sacramento Go uh Sacramento Surge, what was it Sacramento Gold Rush? There was another team too. But yes, I went to a lot of those. Definitely. I, I actually met um Ronnie Lott at a Sacramento Surge game. Bradley and his coaching staff. I hear you. That's facts, Vinny. Shout to uh, Right Side Brain. New to the channel. Subscribed immediately. Love the content, Docs. Talk that shit. Go Raiders, man. Appreciate you, brother. Welcome to the family, King. Thank you for your uh, support, my brother. Shout to KO Spitters. Before the season, did you have us winning or losing this game? I honestly had us at 10 7. I had us going 5 and 0 oh into uh, going, uh, going into Denver. I think I had us losing our first game in Denver. But things things change. I had us, I think I had us going five and oh. I gotta go back to the video. I had I know I had us beating the Chargers and beating Chicago, but I think I had us losing the game in Denver. I had us splitting it this year with Denver. But fuck that, man. I'm changing up. Changing up, man. Six and oh. Talk that six and oh shit. But originally, I do believe I had us going five and oh and then losing in Denver. I had us splitting. Knock Andrew. Uh, no, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I'm trying to go to actually. I'm gonna go to a Sharks, um, uh, Dallas Stars game this year. Um, he just didn't see any snaps last week, Aurora, and that was because of the game plan. That was because of the game plan. It wasn't because of KJ uh, um, being in the doghouse at all. It was just the matchups. That's all it was. You'll see a lot more KJ Wright uh, this week or, or, or next Monday against the Chargers. Guaranteed, you'll see a lot more KJ. He just, it just, he didn't fit in the scheme of things um, against the Chargers last, I mean, um, the Dolphins last week. Nothing yet, Naaman. Nothing yet, my brother. Nothing yet, Naaman. But definitely, we'll, we'll hear something today. We'll hear something today. Andre had two years under Hudson, humble snaps, shake. Yeah, Raider, Raider, bro. I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I think he just needs more time. I just subscribed. Is this guy from San Jose? No, nah, I'm from Sacramento, my brother. I'm from Sacramento, but definitely, definitely got the sharks on me, man. Definitely got the shark. My wife is from San Jose. I'm from Sacramento. You know what I mean? But I definitely got all my Northern California. You know what I mean? Shout out to you, Gabe, man. Welcome to the family, my brother. Let me see. Shout out to Raider Goon, ticket holder, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Always, man, supporting the channel like you do. I appreciate you, King. Hey, I want you guys to know, real. Uh, let me know in the comment section real quick, too. Who do you guys, you know, you know what we do over here. We always get everybody on the channel. Who do you guys want to have on the channel next? Let me know because I listen to you guys. What other Raider content creators do you want me to have on the show? Please let me know in the comment section uh, who you want me to have on. And I'm definitely going to reach out to them today. So let me know because I think I'm going to do another live tonight. And I definitely want to get some people on. So definitely let me know who you guys want to have on. And I'm definitely going to reach out to my brothers um to, to get some new people on man shout out to you raider goon ticket holder my brother man i appreciate you king all all the um all the support you give the channel man my brother okay my brother okay i see it i see it carl from raider films 
Carl be on his own shit, man. I, I don't know what's going on with Carl, man. I reached out to him. I don't know what's going on with Carl. Um, Knight again, definitely going to get Knight on again. Sanji, okay. Uh, Matthew Shax. I reached out to Shax. Kiwi, he said he definitely wants to come pull up on the show. Uh, my brother, Samoan Raider, definitely, man. Um, JP, got to get my guy on there. Okay, okay. Shout out to Jose. Uh, Graf, what I missed, an hour and a half, my brother. We were just talking, shooting the shit, talking about this Chargers game, talking about um, any updates on Josh Jacobs, any updates on other certain players. Uh, we're just waiting for one of these pressers today to see what uh, see what's going on. Appreciate you, Jose, as always, my brother. You already know, my bro. Graf, what do you, uh, what did we do with that money we just freed up from restructuring these contracts? I think we're holding on to it. I think we're holding on to it, bro. I think we're gonna hold on to it and and maybe potentially grab an offensive lineman or something at some point. Scout, scout, scout. Okay, I see a lot of scouts. Me and Scout are gonna be live Friday. We we'll be live Friday. I see Raider Cody. A lot of scouts. Trust me, me and little bro will be back together on Friday. We're doing a scouting report show this Friday. Mikey, ready to tape. My brother Watts. Uh, Watts will be back on soon, man. You know, this is this is Watts. You know, it's home. It's home for Watts. Um, go get uh, Brian, uh, Byron uh, live. I already also reached out to Byron. Byron should be on soon. You need to get the real Sonny Bo on. I like that. I'm going to reach out to him, too. I'm going to reach out to him too, right? Or Hancho. You know me and Hancho do our lives every every week. He had a, he had work this week, so we're definitely re maybe returning next week. Raider, uh, Raider Ben. Jason, I just talked to him, brother. We're, 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 we're going to set something up for the near future. Bring Phil back. Oh, Phil's definitely going to be back, Charm City. That's my dog. We I just reached out to him today too. I'm about to put together another Avengers show that's what i want to do i want to do another avengers show another you know where we just all come together samoan me mitch um 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 hancho sanjeet ready to take um you already know man everybody man scout i want to bring everybody together i think that's what i'm gonna do watts oakland night i want to put one together where we're just hella deep on here that's gonna be the next move man that's definitely gonna be one of those next moves um cody everybody Shout out to you, Jose, man. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you for the donation, King. My dog, man. Um, brothers from Raid to Tape. Wesley, I got to reach out to them, too. Or, or Tape Don't Lie. Yeah, I got to reach out to them. Shout out to you, Jose. Appreciate you, brother. Shout out to my brother, Nizer, man. As always, love you, King. Appreciate you for everything you do for the channel. I think if we win on Monday, I have hopes of us winning our division. That is facts. Let's sweep our division. Autumn Windbags and Tape Don't Lie. Love to the chat game family. My brother, man. My brother, man. My brother. Appreciate you, King. Appreciate you. Kiwi says Avengers show. Gotta do it. I got I got it's time to it's time to uh bring them together, man. It's time to bring everybody back together, man. We need more of that. We definitely need we definitely need more of that, man. Let me see where we are, you guys, real quick, man. We're 70 subscribers away from 10k. I got to figure out how we can make this happen. Shout out to you, Nazar. Oh, bro, me and Mitch always go live. I, I was going to call him today and actually tell him to uh, pull up pull up uh, sometime this week so we can definitely do another show. We need 10K tonight. Yes, man. Talk that talk, bro. Hit the subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed yet, man. Please, let's get to 10K tonight. I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate. Jose, which O line would you take, Docs? At this point, I, we got to trade for one. We have to trade for one, Jose. I don't want Mitchell Schwartz at right tackle. He's his back surgery that that was really really bad. Um, I don't want David DeCastro. His injury history is really really bad. Um, I don't want Russell Akun. Maybe Rick Wagner. Maybe Wagner. Maybe Wagner. That may be the guy I go get because I know he can play guard and, and tackle, right? I'd probably go reach out to him. Shout out to you, Jose. But I, I'm trading for one, bro. I'm definitely trading for one. If, if we don't get Wagner, I trade for one. Uh, maybe maybe KO, maybe assembly, but 
he just his knees are shot. His knees are shot, man. Wicked Joker, what's cracking docs? Checking uh we low key about to have four one thousand yard receivers on this team. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Real time Raider. I hear you, Raider Joe. Let me see. One up, 9.93. We getting there, brother. We getting there. We almost there, man. We're almost there, you guys. We're actually almost there, man. It's crazy how one live can change, you know what I mean, can put so many people already on to hit the sub button, man. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go crazy today. I'm going to drop a bunch of videos so we can somehow, some way get, um, get, to, uh, get to 10K, man. I love my brother Mitch, man. Anytime somebody says something about Mitch, man, you know what I mean? I just I, look, I don't even say nothing anymore because people know how how I feel about Mitch. That's my brother, man. That's my brother. You can't tell me shit about Mitch. I don't give a fuck how people think, what people think. Oh, he ain't a real Raider fan. He ain't this, he ain't that. Mitch is my guy. Rich is my dog. I mean, Mitch is my dog. That's my bro. I ride or die for him in real life. You know what I mean? So I don't pay attention to that shit. But everybody has their own opinion. And I don't care about, I don't care. Feel how you feel. Oh shit! Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Boy, this guy shot. Boy, this guy shot. Black smile. Do this. If we can get to 10k today, you guys. If we can get to 10k, I'm gonna need all y'all help. If we can get to 10k tonight, we're doing a we're doing a fan show tonight. The fan show will be tonight. Let's get to 10K. I don't know what we need to do. Share it everywhere on Facebook, Twitter. Let's get to 10K today because I want to celebrate with y'all. I want to celebrate with y'all, man. So let's get to 10K today and we'll definitely do a, a fan show tonight. That's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Dox is living a dream, talking Raiders football all day. Bless up, bro, for real. I appreciate you, AD. My brother, man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed, but I couldn't do this shit without y'all. I couldn't do it without y'all at all. So I, thank you guys. Shit, thank y'all, man. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. KO fan show so we can take shots before sober October. I got to take them drinks before be, before uh, midnight tonight, y'all. So I don't know. I just blasted my feeds for subs. Appreciate you. You know, hey, put together some videos. I'll share for sure. Sean, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to Jose Dox. I can see Yannick and Crosby being the new Howie Long and Lyle Alzado. Do you think that's no, that's not a crazy prediction, bro? Because these guys are already off into insane to an insane start. And the, the shit they were talking about all offseason, bro, about, um, about you know, them being – Yannick was saying they're going to be the best dynamic duo in the league and, and blah, blah, blah. I can see it, bro. I can definitely see it, man. I seen somebody yesterday – I forgot who sent it to me saying that Crosby should change his number to 75 in honor of Howie Long. That would be dope. That would be dope. That would be fire. But uh, to answer your question, Jose, that's not a crazy prediction. I, I would love to see that, brother. We just have to give Yannick an extension, make him a Raider for life, give uh, Max one, and we're good to go. Fox says, uh, Mitch needs to pull up on game day and have a live reaction. That'd be fire. No, you rock. You rock. Raider Houston says, Hancho. You know, that's my brother, man. Shout out to Demetrius. What's up, King? 916 is in the building. I like that, Graham Cam. Keep 98, create his own path. I like that, my brother. I like that. I just think it'd be a dope idea, though, right? Think about it, man. The honor, Howie Long, come in, take number 75. That'd be crazy. Six sacks Monday night. I think that would be dope. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. We need about 60-something subs. We're getting there. Rick says, take don't lie, says Drake is having problems picking up the blitz. Facts. Facts. I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't think that he was going to struggle like that so quick, so early. Drake has been so up and down. 
You deserve way more than 10K subs. Awesome show. Getting my wife and son to subscribe this weekend. Only two more, but got to get you there by Monday night. My brother, Eric. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. I definitely appreciate you, King. Next jersey I'm buying is a Crosby jersey for sure. Docs, hope you are well, my brother. Willing to pull up anytime you need someone, brother. Thank you, Pastor Raider. I want to do a fan show tonight. I just know we got to get to 10K. If we can get to 10K, man, I want to do. You know what we can do? I think we're going to get there tonight, though. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a fan show tonight, okay? This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a fan show, and we're going to go live for two, three hours. However long we have to go live, we're going to go live. I'm going to bring people on, and we're going to sit here until we get those 60 subs. What do y'all think about that? I'm putting the show together tonight with my family, with you guys, to come in, do our Brady Bunch thing. You already know how we squared up everywhere. Boop, 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 boop. And let's talk that shit until we get to 10K. I would love to be online with you guys while that happened. That would be fire, man. So, yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing a 10K live tonight. That's what I'm doing. Fan show tonight, y'all. Let's talk that shit. Let's talk that shit. So I'm going to go buy that, that, that fifth of Don Julio. And we're going to drink before sober October. Because once it hits midnight tonight, I am done again. So we're going to do that tonight, you guys. I want to celebrate with you guys. With y'all, man. Because it's y'all page like it's mine. Period, point blank. Shout to the Raider once again. I got to get off right now, and I probably won't be on the chat later, fam. But I'm pretty sure you're getting a 10K. So congrats, brother. You're the GOAT, man. No, you're the GOAT, the Raider. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much for everything you do for the channel. I hate to sound like a robot because I continue to say the same thing over and over. But I truly mean that, man. Shout to you, the Raider, my brother, man. My brother, man. Have a good day, King. King Higgins, talk that shit, King. Niger says, great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to set it up right now. I'm, I'm going to set the show up for the night. So it'll be 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock um, Eastern. Okay? 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. I'm going to set up the fan show. Let's try to get this up to, to, to the closest we can to 10K tonight. Because before the closer we get now, the less people we're going to need to, to do what we do. But I want to take some shots. I want to celebrate with you guys, man. Yes, Niza Regis is a Raider again, man. Love to see it. Love to see it. Big dog. Big dog. 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Talk that talk, bro. Raider Carlos says you will hit 10K today. I would love it, man. I would love it. How many people are you going to have on, bro? I'm going to have people come in and out, Raider Joe. I'm going to have a bunch of people come in and out tonight. So we'll just have a lot of people just come in and, and slide out, slide in and slide out. But this time I'm going to actually have to send the, um, the invite to people because I don't want everybody talking over each other because it, then it becomes a shit show. So I'm going to definitely send the invite instead of putting it in the uh, comment section. So I'm going to bring everybody in and out. We're going to have a bunch of people come on tonight. Shout out to Jose once again, man. Appreciate you, my brother. Docs, in your opinion, who was the most underappreciated Raiders player, in your opinion, other than Carr? That's a good question. Um, I'm going to say maybe maybe Foster Moreau. Foster Moreau. Maybe maybe him. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, underappreciated. Damn. I don't want to say Renfro because now Renfro is getting all the accolades he deserves. I don't even want to say uh, Renfro. Yes, Ingold. Maybe Alec Ingold. Ingold and Foster Moreau. Um, Daniel Carlson as well. I mean, this dude is just year in and year out kicking shit all over the place. Uh, maybe Jonathan Hankins as well. Yeah, I like I like Hankins because, you know, he's great against the run. I like that. I like that. So Hankins on defense. I'm going to put Mullen in there as well, man. I, I think Mullen is great, man. I think Mullen has been really, really good, man. With, 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 the, with the cards he's been dealt, having to deal with um, Paul Gunther's defense and, and all that other shit, man, I think Mullen has been a real, real uh, nice, solid addition under the radar, man. He's been doing really, really well. So I'm going to go Mullen Hankins on the defense, and then I'll go Alec Ingold and Foster Moreau on the offense. There we go. Um, shout out to you, Jose. Solly for sure, man. I mean, come on, man. Solly's been great. Solly's been great. 
We talked about that, Eddie. We talked about that a few times, my brother. I'm actually really happy, man. Our QB, man, DC4, is is, is getting the, um, the respect he deserves. AFC Player of the Month. Over 1,200 yards passing in three games. God damn. Crazy, man. You think Carlson missed that extra point on purpose for his fantasy league? <laughs> hey, I got him as my fantasy kicker, man. So uh, he fucked me with that one, but he, he made he made up for it with that uh, with that overtime win. Definitely. Shout out to my brother Rob, man, aka Spine, man. For those who don't know, this is my guy, man. This is my brother. He's been rocking with me before before the um the podcast. He's been rocking with me since the Goondocks days. The Docs with music. Um, one of my True supporters, man. I support everything you do too, big bro. Shout out to you, my brother. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, my dog. He was one of the guys that used to be out there shooting all my music videos, man, out there in the trenches with me, doing all that dirty work, man. Um, you and the unfiltered were hilarious. Raider Rich, I think he just hit me up. I think he just hit me up. I think he just hit me up. I'm putting together a little flinging session together with Jones. I'm going to hit him up in a second. He just hit me up. I, he don't know that I have a show tonight, so I'm going to let him know I got a show tonight. But he was asking to pull up on his page again. But I may ask them to just go pull up over here. Boom, 10K. I like that, Rudy. Shit, let's shoot this shit. Let's have fun, too. Let's have fun. Let's have fun tonight, too. Let's. It doesn't always have to just be all Raider talk, man. We're family, man. Barbershop talk. Let's shoot that shit. Shout out to you, Rudy. I appreciate you, family. Always believed in my brother, man. Appreciate you, brother. And that's likewise, King. Shout out to my bro, man. Uh, Jose, Doc's last question. I know I'm asking a lot. Nah, it's all love, my brother. Do you think Carlson has the potential to be better than Seabass? Ooh, shit. Look, man, Seabass is one of my favorite writers of all time, so it's tough to say that. It's tough to say that. Oof. I, I'm, I'm just part, I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Seabass guy, man. I'm a Seabass. He was there through all the bad years, had a couple great years. I'm not going to go that far. Seabass, I have, nah, Seabass is the GOAT. That was a fire-ass question, though, Jose. I like that. Yeah, Efren, that was, that, bro, that was a fire-ass question. I like that, but nah. I, I got Seabass as the GOAT forever. GOAT forever. Andy, bro, less than 60 away, bro. We're going to celebrate tonight, man. I would, If you want to pull up at some point tonight, man, I would love to have you come in and talk a little shit, man. Definitely, bro. Definitely, man. I appreciate you, Andy, as well, brother, for everything you've done for the channel as well, King. Shout out to my little bro, man. You guys aren't subscribed to his channel yet. You guys are bugging. Kevin, what's up, King? LM, what's up, love? 10K subs equal 10 shots of Don Julio tonight and talk that Raiders shit, Docs. Oh, no, no, no. 10 shots. Shit. We gonna knock that bottle back right side. Look, might as well go all out with a bang. If I don't wake up with a hangover tomorrow, then uh, Sober October don't count. <laughs> it's time to get smacked out and not want to drink. Shout out to Johnny. Hey, I don't know if it's real, but I was laughing. It said breathing needs in, uh, NFL approved Raiders to wear. Yeah, I seen that, bro. I think I think it was a troll. I definitely think it was a troll. That shit is hilarious, though, Johnny. Shout out to my brother, Johnny, man. Um, if I come on tonight, I'm talking that shit. Love my nation, but shut the fuck up when we are on offense. Two, always wear black to games, and we don't do the fucking wave. Talk that shit, Thor. Talk that OG Oakland Raider Oco shit. Some people don't know the rules and regulations yet, King. Naaman, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you. Thor, man, you already know. Haji, you're the GOAT. Love you. Love you too, man. You are the GOAT. You are the GOAT, Queen. Love you to death. DC one, yes, Sean, definitely. You know, his sober October has to start after Monday night. <laughs> nah, we got to celebrate tonight, you guys. We got to definitely celebrate tonight. Let me see where we are. Um, I think we can get there, y'all. I think we can get there. We need, we need, we need 60 subs. We need 60 subs. We need 60 subs. I think if I drop a few videos and we share this link everywhere, man, I, I believe we can do it. Shout out to Tim.
I don't know what happened. My apologies, y'all. I, I, I accidentally exited myself out. But shout, shout, shout out to Terrence, man. Appreciate you. Yes, oaklawsvegas.com, you guys. If you guys want to get some clothing, if you want to get some merch, go to the website, oaklawsvegas.com. Oaklawsvegas.com. Appreciate you. But my apologies, y'all. I, I hit the exit button. I, I put I hit the leave studio button and I just went out. But I'm we back. We back. We back. I gotta get X on. I gotta get X on, LM. <laughs> I can't share on Snapchat. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah, I hit the kill switch on the accident, y'all. I don't know what the hell happened. Terrence said, yo, you said my name and went black. <laughs> name it says, Doc, you already on that Don Julio. I love you guys, man. I really, really do. LM says, the merch is fire. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Terrence says, I'm a Jedi. I used to bring in two short docs. I would love it. I would love it. I would love to. I should be seeing him sometime soon. I should be seeing him sometime soon. I'm an admin on Sideline GM on Facebook. Oh, that's what's up, Black Smile. I think I'm an admin in there too because of X. Big Will, any injury updates? Nothing yet. Nothing yet, brother. Nothing yet. Joe, if you don't stop asking me about that motherfucking anthem. <laughs> Trust me, bro. I'm trying to finish it, man. I'm trying to finish it. That's why I got to get out there in the next week or so and go knock it out. I'm about to go put another verse on it. I'm not waiting for nobody. I'm not waiting for nobody ever again. I'm just going to go out there and finish my own song. And I also have um, another surprise with the Raider Joe. You know I'm fucking with you, bro. You know I'm fucking with you. Bitch! Turkey, what's up, brother? Wild Turkey's in the building. Troy says, Wilder the baller is fixing to go off Monday night. 150, two TDs. Book it. I like that. I like that, brother. Freaky, I, bro, I'm waiting. I got I to gotta wait to see uh, what's, what's going on. I don't want to make no fake one, bro. Let me see. There ain't nothing out yet. There's still nothing out yet. I'm waiting for everything, brother. My dog. Chris says, has our running game uh, a scheme changed to more power running and pulling? Yeah, last game it did for sure. Last game it did for sure. We definitely changed uh, changed up our uh, our scheme on the offensive line. It worked. It worked. You're definitely going to see some more of that moving forward, Chris, because before we couldn't run the ball for shit. Shout out to Sean Docs. Just make some some clickbaity ass shit today. Raider fans will come running, get them subs up in no time. <laughs> oh, man. I, you know, I, may, I might make some. You know what? I got a funny video I can do, man. I got a funny video I can do. I might have to do that, Sean. Shout out to my dog. Shout out to Jose one more time. Appreciate you, King. Hey, Doc, it's going to be an LV for the Bears game. Hope to see you there, my brother. Was Gruden's play calling last week against the Dolphins trash? No, I, I didn't think it was trash at all. It was trash in the fourth quarter. Um, definitely. When you're up by eight, man, you got to keep your foot on the gas. You know what I mean? This dude went conservative as hell. It's like, come on. If we would have made the extra kick, the extra point, and we were up by nine. I get it. Get conservative, run the clock down. But we were only up by eight. That's one touchdown and two point conversion, which we gave up. But uh, earlier than that, I think DC called a hell of a game. I mean, uh, DC Gruden. I think Gruden called a hell of a game. I, I definitely think he called a hell of a game. Um, but yes, that fourth quarter was costly, my brother. Definitely, it was trash in that fourth quarter. Uh, do you? I do live stream with the fans. Yeah, Jay. I definitely do, my brother. We're doing one tonight. That's one thing we do over here, bro. Definitely. That's de I definitely do one with, uh, all the time, bro. Love to bring in the guys. And, and, and the, the, the kings and queens of the nation. Brian, smoking his blunt and salute to you, Docs. What's up from Dago? Shout out to my dog, Brian, man. Shout out to my dog, Brian. Oh, no, no. We go conservative this week. We're going to lose. I'm telling y'all now, we go conservative this week. We're going to lose. 
for real. Bakers will probably be limited in practice today and still questionable. Probably be a game time decision. Yeah, that's what I said too, brother. Shout out to you, Dead Raiders. Shout out to Justin Sane as well. Yeah, I said the same thing. I, th I think he's going to be a game time decision. And I think that, you know, D I think Gruden's going to want to keep the Chargers on their toes. You know what I'm saying? Keep them on their toes. And I, I still think he'll be a, um, a scratch come, come game time. Hey, Graf, do you think we'll, um, we'll be the Raiders to – Wait, who do you think will be the Raiders to stand out versus the Chargers? I think it's going to be DC. I know that's I know that's kind of a cheat code, but I'm going DC for sure. Um, Denzel Perriman again. I mean, he's going to lead us in tackles once again. You already know, man. He's been great. Everybody's texting me about this fan show now. Um, I got Denzel Perriman. I got DC. Um, I think Nate Hobbs is going to ball out this game too. I think he's going to be a standout guy in Waller. So I got Waller, DC. Denzel Perriman and um, Nate Hobbs. Ah, should I go Hobbs or Casey Hayward? Because I know Casey's going against his old team. I'm going to go with Hobbs. I'm going to go Hobbs. So Hobbs, Denzel Perriman, D.C., and Waller. Waller's due for a big, big game. He's due for a big game. Jose, do you think Waller will have a breakout? <laughs> Boom. There you go. Right there. But uh, Look, right there. 150 to 200 yards. That's what I got. I think he's going to ball out. I think he's going to ball out. This is the this is the week. I think D.C. knows that uh, we need to get Waller more active this week. I, I just think that he feels – D.C. knows when it's time to get one of his guys the ball. You know what I mean? We know we force-fed him week one. I think this week we get him the ball a lot. I think we do. I definitely think we do. I think Zay Jones will make some plays this game. Shit, Black Smob, he did last week. He had one uh, one good play, but he had some great plays in special teams. Zay has been a blessing in disguise, man. Zay has had a lot, a lot of great plays on the special team side. He was the one that downed that ball down at the one yard line, and then got Byron Jones so worked up that we got that they got another fifteen yard penalty. Which, I mean, it was really moved back like a half an inch because they're already on the one yard line. But um, look, man, he's been a, he's been a blessing in disguise as well. Best running back in Raider history. It got to be Marcus Allen. I mean, it, it would have been Bo Jackson if if he didn't get hurt. If he was, if he, if, if Bo wouldn't have got hurt, he would have been the best running back probably of all time. But um, it's got to be Allen. Marcus Allen easily, bar none. Cool. I'm seeing nine point nine four. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. That's what I'm seeing too. Jose, glad we got Perriman away from the Chargers. He always played good against us when we played him past years. Yes, that's facts. That's facts, my brother. That's facts. Perriman has been a blessing in the sky. I've been telling everybody, man, I've been a fan of him since Miami, the Miami Hurricane days. Perriman's a monster. He can hit hard. He's smart. He's intelligent. Like, he's, he's a veteran. That was one of the best pickups this offseason, period, period. Denzel was a monster. And he's going to want to feast again also against these Charger, this Charger team. Docs, you ever been to Pismo Beach? I have, Johnny. I have. I've been everywhere. I'm from California, you feel me? Born and raised in Northern California, but I've been all through California, everywhere, doing shows um, and all kinds of stuff. So based effect, any word on Jacobs? Nothing yet, family. Nothing yet. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys updated if you guys don't see something before I do. Pyramid body slammed the Chiefs player. I love it. That penalty involving Zay which should have been a safety since you aren't getting anywhere near 15 yards. Exactly. But guess what? It still resulted in a safety. The next play, Casey Hayward got the safety. So I'm good with that. I'm good. But you're, you're right, Swift. It's facts. Good morning, my guy. Awesome content. Always good. Um, always support you and go Raiders. Raiders for life. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. AD says, Docs, your girl is from San Ho. Have you ever been to Salinas? Yeah, I've been to Salinas hella times. Been to Salinas hella times, bro. Love Salinas. I used to go to Salinas, Monterey all the time. Seaside, all that shit. I love Napoleon Kaufman. Love him. But, you know, let's just say maybe a top five, maybe top ten running uh, uh, a running back of all time, Raider-wise. But, nah, I can't say he's the best. <laughs> Pyramid, but, yeah, I'm a huge Napoleon Kaufman uh, fan. I grew up watching him play. Like, that was my guy. 
Uh, Perriman and Abram real active in the middle of the field. Andy, you ain't never lie, bro. Never. G, you should uh, do clowning skits on our opponent of the week. Oh, I am. I am. I already got one in mind right now. I already got one right now. Actually, I'm about to go do them right now. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. We're pulling up on two hours. I appreciate you guys for being here, man. Make sure you guys wipe them feet on the way out. Hit that subscribe button, please. We are almost at 10K. We're going to do the 10K live tonight. Uh, we want to get there, man. We want to get there on the live. I'm bringing in everybody tonight, y'all, whether it's content creators, fans, you know, because I'm a fan. I, I hate to say fans because you guys aren't fans. You guys are my family, but I'm a fan. You guys are fans. We're all fans. You know what I mean? So definitely going to get the show going tonight. I'm going to put that together right now. Shout to the 300 plus people in the chat right now. Wipe them feet. Please hit the sub button. We are on our way to 10K. I love you guys. I'm definitely going to see you guys tonight for the live. And I'm going to put out some videos here in a set. I'm actually going to shoot a few right now before I go pick up my sons. So I love you guys, nation. I appreciate you guys. Man, two hours, man. We all just kicked it. It really did go by and knock Andrew hella fast, huh? It did, bro. But um, definitely, man. I love you guys. I salute you guys. I appreciate you guys. We're about 60 away, y'all. Less than 60 away. Let's get it. Love y'all, nation. Catch y'all tonight. One.